Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to your Do They Miss You Love Tarot reading. This will be a general reading to have a look and see if someone you've been thinking about, uh, someone that you're no longer connected to, if this person does miss you. Now you might have not been talking for a week, a month, a year. Um, if you are meditating on this person, if you're thinking about them, the cards could reveal if they do in fact miss you and how they're feeling about your situation. Um, so I do uh, advise you approach these messages with an open mind and an open heart. Um, if you are after a private reading, my email is listed below. I will be um, taking a break from private readings very, very soon. So if you would like one, my email is listed below. Thanks so much for being here. Let's jump straight into it and see. Do, does this person miss you, Taurus? Do they miss you? Okay these cards wanted to come out the death card with the queen of swords and the star card okay this is quite interesting now the death card is here so this is about major endings major transformations um i actually feel like there's someone still hung up about the way you ended things with them or the way you disconnected the death card is really a parting of ways um it's it's ch it's massive change so i feel like for this person, the way you ended or the way you disconnected or the way they disconnected, uh, however the circumstances played out, uh, I, I feel like with the death card, this was a major change for them. And I feel like with the Queen of Swords and the Star card also here, this person is missing you, but they're really, really wanting to heal. So A, I think they're still healing. Um, they're still coming to terms with the ending, in fact, with the death card here. Um, the death card is also Scorpio energy, so this may be more heightened if you have a Scorpio person here, or B, this could point to mysteries and elusiveness. Um, so if you haven't heard from this person, if it's been literally just disconnection and you haven't heard anything, uh, you haven't been in touch, I do feel like this person is actually suppressing feelings. Not that Scorpio suppress feelings, but they're very good, uh, because they're quite emotional beings, they're very good at keeping things a mystery. So I feel like the way this person is presenting themselves is that it's still a mystery and they're not alluding you too much. So they're not being obvious in their feelings. So I'm seeing there's, su there's a suppression of feelings happening around this person, okay? With death comes life, I feel like they're trying to have a new perspective of things. The Queen of Swords is here, actually. Now, she's very direct. She's very, very intellectual. She's very um, in touch with, with her analytical mind. Um, the fact that she, it looks like she's holding, I mean, not really. I mean, to me it does, but obviously people will see it differently. Um, what she holds up here, it almost looks like a, um, a crossbow like an archer's crossbow, um, and that she's almost ready to shoot. She's almost ready to aim um, because she wants to complete something. See how it's half completed? She almost wants to complete it here, and it's almost like she's shooting straight for the star card. Now, if you have dealt with an air sign, a Gemini, Aquarius in particular, or a Libra, uh, this person is wanting to heal and wanting to move on, okay? They've got their eyes set on the star card here. Now, the star card is also hope and magic, so they might be someone who's hoping to reconnect with you and might do that through ways of communication, email, social media, etc. There could be a correlation here for some of you. I feel like with the Queen of Swords, this person has been talking about you a lot. There's been a lot of communication or they've, they've been either speaking to a friend, an ex, um, or someone new that they're seeing, they're still mentioning you. So A, you're still coming up in their thoughts, Taurus. B, I feel like they're telling um, other people about you because they want to heal from you because there is an ending. There is an ending here, but I feel like they're still coming to terms with that ending. Uh, I'm not sure if there's missing yet because I, I feel like the circumstances around the way in which the two of you disconnected this person is still registering. I do feel like a part of them does want to move on and they're hopeful that they can move on. But the fact that they're hoping and wishing for a lot with the star card here um, speaks volumes of, you know, the subconscious. And that's the subconscious here with the death card. That's the suppression. That's the mysticism. That's the under, that's un things that are under the radar. So the fact that that's come up to us, I, think, I feel like it says that subconsciously, 
this person still misses you or they're still dealing with emotions. Yes, they're talking to people about it. They're seeking advice or seeking solace and comfort in other things or people. And yes, that is a source of comfort for them. Um, you know, with the star card, I really feel like the star card can indicate renewal, which is further supported by the death card. Uh, the star card is Aquarian energy. Um, Aquarian energy can be all about the self, self-awareness, self-intelligence, self-growth. They're, they're, they're high achievers. Uh, they're people that always strive for the best. This is them as a sign. They're people that um, want to move on and want to appear a certain way. So I do feel like there is someone who is trying to move on from you. Um, there's a missing and I wouldn't be surprised if they still check into your social media page or have or will have contact through the media or internet or you know where other people can see these sort of platforms maybe there could be something here in particular if it is an Aquarius but the star card also speaks of destiny so I do feel like this person feels you're destined to have come into their life or you taught them something. Um, I do feel like regardless of how things ended, this person plays a sp places a special importance on you, on your connection, whether it was brief, whether it was um, long, whether, it's, whether there was commitment, whether there was exclusivity or monogamy or not. A part of this person, whether they understand it now or it's still in their subconscious that will transit into the known for understanding um, that you have come into their life for a purpose or for a reason or you've taught them something you've educated you've mon um, you've mentored you've taught you've raised their self-awareness you've helped them grow as a person this is coming up around them so this is quite interesting but I definitely feel they have a certain element of respect for you here I do um, whether they show that or not might still be in the subconscious here for a lot of them. Um, but I do feel like there could be someone who's wanting to heal. So there might be someone that wants friendship or something platonic with you, okay? And they might also want renewal. They could even want fresh starts with you as well, Taurus. So you might hear from this person, okay? Um, I will leave it at that, though. Hope this reading has been insightful. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe, Taurus. I'm sending you all my love and bye for now.